Blown-in insulation performs best when the fibers expand and are fully separated by air while flowing through the hose. Its package is compressed for shipping and storage, which means it has to run through a machine and hose in order to open the fibers. The goal on every job is to get uniform coverage throughout the home. This is what blown-in should look like coming out of the hose when the machine is set correctly. The machine should be set so the material passes from the hopper to the hose end and is conditioned like this, light and fluffy. Remember, you're looking for a smooth, even delivery of material. Every blowing machine operates a little differently and must be set according to the products you use. So it's extremely important that you check with your supervisor for the proper settings, adjustments, and safety features for your machine. You may find that you have to make adjustments on the job. Blowing machines may be powered three ways. An electric engine, a gasoline or diesel engine, or a power takeoff, known as a PTO, which uses power from your truck's engine. There are at least three, and often four, settings on most machines. Engine speed, or RPM, air pressure, gate opening, and if your machine has a transmission, gear setting. With gas engines and PTOs, the control for engine speed is the throttle. Increasing or decreasing engine speed increases or decreases the movement of material into the shredder and through the machine. Air pressure is controlled at the air relief valve. You open or close the air bypass or relief valve with a lever to increase or decrease pressure. The slide gate controls the feed rate of insulation into the shredder. Certain teed products have charts with recommended starting points or initial settings. Remember, this chart shows recommended initial settings. Once you start blowing, you may have to make adjustments. For machines with their own gas engines, you want to run the machine at the manufacturer's recommended speed. If your machine has a PTO and gets its power from your truck's engine, adjust the engine speed to the machine manufacturer's recommended setting. You may have an indicator right on your truck to show the correct setting. In this case, the indicator should show about 1250 RPM, not higher. Setting up the gears properly is the second step. Use third gear for open blowing in attics and second gear for sidewall applications. For attic applications, adjust the slide gate to an approximate 12 inch opening with air pressure adjusted so you get a 10 to 14 foot arc from the end of the hose. Adjust the air pressure as necessary for optimum results. Air pressure should be between 1.8 and 2.2 PSI. Remember, the key to proper installation is balancing the air volume and gate opening. This is where teamwork comes in. The installer and the person loading the hopper have to communicate and work as a team in order to achieve the right balance of air and material. The most important part of installation starts and ends with safety. Here are a few tips to ensure a smooth, safe install. Wear clothing that won't get caught in the machine. Always wear an OSHA-approved disposable dust respirator. Never reach into the hopper. Know where the kill switch is. And always make sure the machine is properly ventilated. Finally, keep in mind that a machine works best when properly serviced on a regular basis. Normal wear and tear will affect how both the machine and the hose operate. Weather factors like temperature and humidity can also affect both the machine and the hose, causing the product to blow differently on any given day. Ensure the machine is set up properly for the job conditions before you start blowing.